think the greatest challenge is trying to be objective about their child. I mean, we all have hopes and dreams for our children. We want what we consider the best for them. And I think it's being objective and standing back and understanding who our child is today versus who we hope they will be one day. So how do you define the best options for them when you can't really be objective about them? And that's perhaps the greatest challenge a family has. Assessing what your child needs in an objective way is not possible as a parent. So in all honesty, if we as parents are really honest about our emotions and our feelings about our kids, then we know that we may not be the one who should be making the suggestions to them. Well, I think number one, as I said, I think it's the ability to have someone who's objective. The other thing is, is that you, everybody makes a contribution. And if the more people that you have who give you feedback or who help your child to understand who they are, gives that student an opportunity to really figure out what's the best environment for me. And so a professional like any professional, if their background and the way that they have gone about understanding how to assess a great college environment or boarding school environment, whatever it may be, and they take that assessment and they meet your child and they get to know them, they start to picture your child in that environment and they start to talk to your child about the fact that why would this college have a certain orientation for you? Why do you think and help the child to develop thoughts about seeing themselves in that picture? Developing questions with that student about what should I be asking myself and what should I be asking colleges in terms of who I am and how honest I am I about myself. So it's important. I think that they should expect someone who has a great deal of background and knowledge and at the same time someone who's sensitive and caring about the process because they want, I think every family wants their child to in some way be nurtured but at the same time be very direct with that child and be honest because I think that we want our child to really in the end have the best what's for them. And if we don't have somebody as a professional who we can trust, I think that becomes the element that interferes with success. So I think a parent has to meet the professional and feel trustworthy so that when they know that their child is with that professional, that professional really cares about their child. I think the best thing a parent can do is step away. I think the reason you hire a professional that you trust is to allow that professional to develop the independent relationship with your child and be the objective voice in the relationship. I mean, my job is to stand between the child and the parents. And you're welcome to call me, you're welcome to ask me questions. But if your child doesn't buy into the fact that this is their future, then the success they're going to find in college is going to be very limiting. It's always going to be about mom made me do this and dad, I did this for my dad. And you don't want them to have that. At some point it becomes about them. So if you allow me to do my job and I do it well, you should be able to rest peacefully knowing that everything is going to get in. I mean, my job is to make sure your child gets their application in, gets to understand themselves, finishes everything in a timely way, and perhaps even grows emotionally from the experience. And I've been very lucky because I see a difference between the student who comes in and when they're finished, so it's great.